Imagine that you want to create a membership site, but you feel overwhelmed. You don't know what platform to use. You don't know how to get started and you feel stressed out. Look no further. We're going to be talking about how to create your very own community using Uscreen. You're going to be learning what Uscreen is, the key features of the community for Uscreen, and how to get started right now. First of all, what is Uscreen? Uscreen is an all-in-one platform where you can have a membership site if you're a creator, if you're an educator, and if you're an influencer, the list goes on and on you can create your own membership with Uscreen. Now, what are some of the features that you can be expecting from Uscreen? Well, when you're building your community, you can have chat, you can have people communicate and engage with your content. And in fact, you can even have live streams, private live streams where people can get closer to you, ask you questions and really build more trust with your community and people can create their own profile so you know who they are, and they can start talking with others. Now, before we deep dive into what the platform looks like, make sure that you check out our guide where we provide the seven steps to build a community website. Now, one of the ways to create a community website is using something like Uscreen, but to find out all the details, to find out what platform or different ways that would be right for you, there's a, a link down below to get started for free. So check it out. Now, to take a look at what Uscreen looks like their community, you can actually take a look at their membership plus. This is Uscreen's community where creators and educators can hang out, introduce themselves, and learn more how they can grow their own business. So it's kind of a little meta right here. You can learn about creating a membership by looking at Uscreen's membership. So Let's take a look at what this looks like. Once you log into Membership Plus, you can take a look at a couple different sections. We're under the Community tab right here, the Community section. So I can take a look from left to right. On the left, I can search in the community, but I can also see specific channels to know more about how to navigate this membership. I see the general section where I can introduce myself and let people know a little bit more about, about me. And then I can also look at product updates and then ask the community. Now, these are very specific channels that they've created that really align with what their membership is about. It's teaching you how you can have your own membership using Uscreen. And I can also ask questions to learn how I can do more with this platform. Now, it also allows me to have my section right here where it says Doc Williams, it tells them my location so people can learn a little bit more about me. Now, that's a great way to kind of understand the lay of the land or understand some of the features and compare it to other platforms if you're deciding. But how do you get started with creating your own membership with Uscreen? Well, we're gonna dive into that right now. If you log into Uscreen with your account, and by the way, you can start with Uscreen for free right now. Just click the link down below. You can start for free to try it out. You're going to be taken to your dashboard. Now, this is Doc's community right here in Uscreen. On the left-hand side, you're going to see a bunch of things. You're going to see the dashboard, content, where all my content lives, videos I've uploaded. I can see people that have signed up for my community and for different content that I've created. And then there's a link right there that says community. Once you click community, it allows you to level up your membership with community. And I can launch my own community right here. It gives me a couple details of some of the things that people can do with the community, such as user posted videos, challenge and progress tracking, public and private channels, and AI assist that's coming soon. That's just some of the basics that's going to be that you can find for the community, but there's going to be more features coming soon that Uscreen is going to be releasing in the near future. You can also, depending on what plan you have, you can also have an app where people can have a full experience. They can download the app, they can access your community. So that's also an, a, that's also a benefit as well. So to get started, we click launch your community. It's then going to allow us to get started with creating a community. Right here, it breaks down. It says, create a welcome post for your community. It gives us kind of a guideline of what we should expect. It says, greet your members and thank them for joining. A personalized hello message from you 
will help your members to feel appreciated and valued. Introduce your community. Give an overview of what uh, of what it's about to set your members' expectation. Share your community guidelines. Be clear about what is and isn't allowed. Engage your members by encouraging them to introduce themselves, ask questions, and start discussions. Lead the conversation by introducing yourself. Add an image to make your post pop. So this really allows you to get started with your own community right here. This is great to really think about all the, the different things uh, that you want in your community. And this gives you guidance on what you should be asking. Now, you might be asking yourself, like, but what, what should I start saying? How can I get inspiration? Well, right here again, when you join the membership, uh, Membership Plus, you can see what people have said. In fact, right here, um, it mentions this is like a summary. This is allowing you to see what Member uh, Plus says about how they introduce. So right here, it says, uh, welcome to Member Plus. We're beyond excited to have you here and know this is going to be a valuable tool for your business growth. We have the, the person introduce themselves and they're giving you a summary of what's, what you should expect and then also a video that you should watch. So if you're looking for inspiration, again, go into Member Plus and start looking at their intro post and you can see that they pinned it so it allows you to understand what what you should say right there. And that's for member plus. So this allows you to get a guideline of what you need to do. Also too, they have the community guidelines. So please use your personal or business name, be kind and courteous, no hate speech or bullying. So that allows you to get the hang of what you should be saying for your own membership. Also too, if it's appropriate, you might want to take a look at different streamers such as on Twitch, if you go on Twitch, you can start seeing streamers that you like. And a lot of the policies of what they say for their chat and what they, you know, how they introduce themselves to their channel, that can give you inspiration as well. Again, that's going to be slanted for more, for more gamers and personal brands, but that's going to be something that allows you to take your, your, your post to the next level. Now, you might also be wondering, like, that sounds great, Doc, but like, what if I just don't know what to say at all? Well, also too, take a look at like ask ChatGPT what you should be saying for an intro post for your community to give you some kind of um, you know, give you a basis. So like I could write, I am starting a an online community. I need you to write out an intro post for my community. My community is called community. Please include, please include um, community headlines that include no hate speech and bullying, right? So that's just something that I'm going to create real quick. Making sure that my grammar is on point. All right, so I have that. Okay, so I'm just going to put this in chat GPT that you can start for free. Okay, and right here, it's going to town. Okay, so again, it wrote out, welcome to Doc's community. Hello, amazing individuals. We're thrilled to introduce you to Doc's community, a vibrant and inclusive all online space where people from all walks of life come together to connect, share, and learn. Whether you're a seasoned expert or just getting, uh, or just starting out, this community is designed to be a welcoming haven for everyone. I mean, that's pretty great. And it gives us like our vision, community guidelines, all of those things. I mean, it's right there for you. I could even in the prompt even say like what my community is about. So it gives you more details. But you can get started with chat GPT. Like it just created everything right there for you. I could copy and paste this and then put this in. In fact, I'm going to copy this over right now. I'm going to go back to my community. I'm going to paste that in. And then I have everything, right? So I, I mean, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. So that just gives you an idea. And of course, you can change some of 
you know, the uh, the lettering and everything you want or some of the grammar. But like, I think that looks pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, so that's just an idea. That's just an idea what you can do to get started. Once you do that, I can add a picture. I can add more emojis. I can decide to save as a draft. I can schedule it or I can just post now. And remember, don't worry, you can always edit or pin it or whatever you want. But if I want this like to, I'm going to change where it says like create a welcome post. I'm just going to just say welcome right here. Change it out. It's going to be the title right here. And that is it. I'm going to click turn right here. I like that. And I'm going to take out the bullet points right here. We are thrilled. And then I'll say our vision right there. All right. So I'm going to keep it right there. Your name. I'm going to change it to Doc Williams. A post. And there we go. All right. So we have a post right here. Um, also, too, I can edit the profile. It says Doc Williams right here. I can just update my picture real quick. So they can see me. I'm going to upload it. Save changes. It's going to think about its life. Okay. And there we go. I'm going to go back to community. Okay. So you see Doc Williams here. Our first, first post is right here. And then also, too, I can add a public channel, I can have an introduce. Uh, introduce yourself channel right here or workout results right here. It's just showing you an example. So you could ha have a channel if you're, you know, creating a community where people are doing a 30 day challenge, 100 day challenge, anything, you could have a channel specifically where people post. You can have view only, comment, and then post. I, I love it. Right. So it allows you to understand what kind of public channel you can have and private channel too. So if you're familiar with like discord or something like that you can do it you can have, have it right there i can also again where it says uh scheduled right all my scheduled stuff my draft so i could start creating a bunch of posts schedule it out and then that way i don't feel overwhelmed where i have to do everything in real time as well again this is really going to depend on your type of community and how you're going to be running it are you going to run it yourself? Are you going to have other people, you know, other admins in it? But this gives you a flavor of what can be possible for your community. And remember, if you're using something like Uscreen, you have the catalog, which will be like the video on demands, the library of videos, and you'll be having the community. So you can always mix and match or refer back to how they can find different resources in the catalog if they feel overwhelmed. You could have drip campaigns in your community for them to again engage and to find more content that you have provided in the past there are tons of things you can be doing with creating your own uscreen membership and community in the comment section down below let me know what kind of community are you working on are you just getting started are you just thinking about what kind of community that you're trying to create and remember if you want to get more details on the fundamentals of building a community website let me know in the comment section down below or click the link and you can get this for free. I'll see you in the next video.